A front vowel is any in a class of vowel sound used in some spoken languages, its defining characteristic being that the highest point of the tongue is positioned relatively in front in the mouth without creating a constriction that would make it a consonant. Front vowels are sometimes also called bright vowels because they are perceived as sounding brighter than the back vowels. Near front vowels are essentially a type of front vowel. No language is known to contrast front and near front vowels based on backness alone. Rounded front vowels are typically centralized, that is, near front in their articulation. This is one reason they are written to the right of unrounded front vowels in the IPA vowel chart. Partial list the front vowels that have dedicated symbols in the International Phonetic Alphabet are Close front unrounded vowel I Close front compressed vowel Y Near close front unrounded vowel Near close front compressed vowel Close mid front unrounded vowel E Close mid front compressed vowel O Open mid front unrounded vowel Open mid front compressed vowel O Near open front unrounded vowel A Open front unrounded vowel A Open front rounded vowel There also are front vowels without dedicated symbols in the IPA Close front protruded vowel Y white Near close front protruded vowel Close mid front protruded vowel O stroke O stroke Mid front unrounded vowel E or commonly written E as if it were close mid Mid front compressed vowel O stroke or commonly written O stroke as if it were close mid Mid front protruded vowel O stroke or Open mid front protruded vowel as above. Other front vowels can be indicated with diacritics of relative articulation applied to letters for neighboring vowels, such as i, e, or for a near close front unrounded vowel. Articulatory front vowels In articulation, front vowels contrast with raised vowels and retracted vowels. In this conception, front vowels are a broader category than those listed in the IPA chart, including and, marginally, mid-central vowels. Raised or retracted vowels may be fronted by certain consonants, such as palatals and in some languages pharyngeals. For example, a may be fronted to a next to j or h. Effect on preceding consonant in the history of many languages, for example French and Japanese, front vowels have altered preceding velar or alveolar consonants, bringing their place of articulation towards palatal or postalveolar. This change can be allophonic variation, or it can have become phonemic. This historical palatalization is reflected in the orthographies of several European languages, including the C and G of almost all Romance languages, the K and G in Norwegian, Swedish, Faroese, and Icelandic, and the Kappa, Gamma, and Chi in Greek. English follows the French pattern, but without as much regularity. However, for native or early borrowed words affected by palatalization, English has generally altered the spelling after the pronunciation. Examples include cheap, church, cheese, churn from asterisk k, and yell, yarn, yearn, yeast from asterisk. See also Back vowel List of phonetics topics References